Hey everyone, welcome to Southwest Airlines inaugural flight 1235 from Bellingham to Vegas. Sit back and enjoy. Walking into the terminal, balloons and posters line the ticketing area. You could feel something special was happening today. The rain outside wasn't going to stop the celebration inside. I checked in online and had my boarding pass on the phone. I also had no luggage to check, but I still went to the counter because I wanted a paper copy of my boarding pass and a chat with the friendly ticketing agents. With my boarding pass in hand, let's head to the gate. Unfortunately, because there was only one TSA agent checking our passes and IDs, I just missed the water cannon salute. But there's our plane, a 17-year-old Boeing 737-700 in Hart livery. It's registered November 488, Whiskey November, and will park at Gate C. It was supposed to arrive at 1240, but it arrived 37 minutes early from Oakland, a Southwest 3261. Oh well. This will be my flight, 1235, down to Vegas. The layout here is similar to Long Beach Airport's North Concourse, as the gates are all on one side and there are no jet bridges. Hello. What do we have? We have some goodies and swag bags. Oh, okay. Excellent. For you. Thank you. And then we have some cake pops, apple cider, and some water for you. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. There was some pretty decent swag, like the Southwest Shades. Here's a welcome letter from the city of Bellingham, although I'm leaving. Of course, being in the Northwest, you gotta get some coffee. And here are some stickers and other random swag. Not a bad welcome gift for everyone coming in and going out today. Here come the first passengers off the plane, and are the very first Southwest Airlines passengers arriving in Bellingham. Of course, they got a warm reception. You can survive on Southwest Life from Oakland and left behind. Uh, first, we'll come see us to claim that at the gate, okay? So, the kids playing out on play 1235 to Las Vegas. Please remain seated at the same time. Thank you for watching. Once all the inbound passengers have declined and our crew is ready to board, we will be beginning our boarding process. As a reminder, federal law requires that customers wear their masks over their nose and mouth at all times. The only exception is being children under the age of two. For those of you enjoying a snack or beverage, eating and drinking must only be done for a brief period and you must refer your adult and also be seen as a Of course, no one says anything when I take my mask off for a photo. As a reminder, passenger carry on items are limited to one bag plus one small personal item. If you have any infant items or assembly devices or oversized bags that have not been that do not have a baggage destination tag, please be a customer service agent at these times. 
Time to line up for boarding. For some of the people flying today who've never flown Southwest, it took some asking around when it was time to line up. No shame in asking. For anyone not familiar, you are given a boarding group, A, B, or C, and a number between 1 and 60. You line up in numerical order by group, then you board 30 at a time. Again, I'm in group A, number 28. It's very similar to Long Beach. You get on the plane outside by the stairs. Welcome to the Northwest, where in November, it can be cold, windy, and definitely wet. You rarely experience weather like this in Long Beach. Welcome on board Southwest 1235 to Las Vegas. I'm seated in 3A, a window seat. This is the older cabin, which is okay to fly in, but definitely not as nice as the 737-800 or Max. Let's take a look. The seat isn't too bad, 31 inches pitch and 17 inches width. Thankfully it's not a full flight, so there's no one seated in the middle. Flight from Bellingham to Vegas, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yay. You guys are a part of this history, so welcome aboard and thank you for buying the tickets. And for those of you who are non thank you for joining us for that. We really do appreciate your business, folks, and it's a service to the community up here, and we do we do want to expand all that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With everyone on board, it's time to get this show on the road. Check it out, we even pushed back a couple minutes early. Because I'm not too familiar of the flight path going towards Vegas, I sat on this side hoping to see all the volcanoes like Mount Baker or Rainier. Unfortunately, the storm blowing through didn't make it possible to see.
once above the clouds, it was a beautiful day for a flight. It's been so long since I flew on a longer southwest flight. Compared to getting nothing on the short flight between Vegas and Long Beach, today we'll have a snack and beverage service. The flight attendant came by and took our drink order. Today I went with the ginger ale to go along with the packaged snack. Here's what was inside the bag. We're almost to Vegas, and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Overall, Bellingham has some work to do to get its tourist infrastructure up to speed. Unfortunately, not many of the hotels offer shuttle service to the airport, and it took so long to get a cab almost 45 minutes. Also, there's no Uber pickup or drop-off allowed at the airport. And oddly enough, there's no bus service to the airport on Sunday. That was really the only negative about this trip. The staff at the airport was very friendly and excited to have Southwest there. Everyone was very excited about this new service. It's definitely a good atmosphere even though this was a Sunday and Bellingham is not that big of a market. It is great to hear from some of the Southwest management and just see the general excitement in the building. It was great to have in-flight service with a snack and a drink. I hope that in the future, there will be snacks and drinks on my more regular Southwest flights between Long Beach and Vegas. Thanks for joining me on this special flight. We'll see you back in SoCal.